The Bad Batch Season 2 is on the way coming this fall, and after the trailer dropped this past weekend of Star Wars Celebration, I want to talk about some possible Funko Pops that can be made from Star Wars The Bad Batch Season 2. Let's get into it. So from Bad Batch Season 1, this is what Funko gave us from the entire season. We have the Bad Batch in their armor, then we have them without their helmets, and we have Omega, Cad Bane, there's a couple other ones as well. So from the trailer, I wanted to pick out some of the Funko Pops that I believe could be made into some, you know, different Funko Pops, some new stuff, some variations of season one pops, and some brand new stuff that would just be freaking sick to have in collections. So I'll kick it off with the obvious, the thing that Funko is 100% going to do, and that's going to get the original Bad Batch pops, and that's going to repaint them in their new armors. This uh, orange and uh, kind of gray, uh, some people are saying it looks like a little bit of teal in there. I don't really see it too much, but I mean, it just looks like gray and orange, a new life brought to the Bad Batch in their armor. So 100% I expect Funko to get those original Funko pops from last year repaint them boom you're done and you have your new bad batch pops i'm not hating i mean it makes sense they're probably gonna be super badass i i would appreciate it more if they put them in new poses and stuff like that then that would be a lot better but i definitely think no matter what it, we can get almost nothing else on this list and i can guarantee you funko is going to give us the bad batch in the repainted armor just makes the most sense in the world and that goes for omega as well she has a little bit of a new look as you guys saw in the original picture and this one as well she's rocking some kind of head armor uh so the point is she's got some new uh bad batch armor herself she's not just running around in her average joe clothes anymore so <laughs> i definitely think they're going to give us another omega obviously we got that target exclusive one last year really nice pop so i definitely think they're gonna give us an updated one with her new look all right now to get into some of the more exciting stuff and a pop that i would absolutely eat up and i think would be sick we saw emperor palpatine in the trailer I think it would be freaking sick if they gave us an Emperor Palpatine because it would be, you know, finally them kind of give us an, giving us a Clone Wars version of Palpatine and then obviously it would just be dubbed the Bad Batch, but it would be just like these animated figures up here, man. We got Anakin, we got Obi-Wan, Yoda, Ahsoka, all in their Clone Wars animated form. So I would love to see an Emperor Palpatine in animated form and with the Bad Batch coming out and with him being in that show, it's a perfect way for them to give us one and not just, you know, having to dig back into the clone wars even though i want them to dig back into the clone wars because there's so much stuff they can do uh it gives them an excuse to stick with new stuff and uh give us an emperor palpatine in animated form uh finally so i think that would be freaking sick that's probably probably top of my list honestly because i know it's been it's a palpatine you know uh pop and we've gotten those in the past before but i think in an updated look a new mold animated style i think would be super cool we saw some Republic, or I guess in this case, Imperial Commandos in the trailer, but more specifically, we saw Scorch. Uh, so I definitely think they're going to give us some of these. I mean, we have gotten a Republic Commando Funko Pop in the past. I believe it was a great gaming greats one, excuse me. Uh, so I think definitely they already have the mold for it. It's most likely it's basically just a repaint so i don't see why they wouldn't do that any opportunity to uh to give us new products i think they should take advantage so if it's as simple as a repaint fine just give it to me man you have the opportunity to do it here they were in the trailer we had the specific ones i'm down for it you have the mold for it already get the paint out yeah you get a little bit of this a little bit of that and you're good to go brand new pop you barely have to do anything Going back to the Bad Batch in the beginning, obviously they all have an updated armor, meaning Hunter, Echo, Tech, and Wrecker, uh, but obviously Crosshair not included in that, so I think they could give us an updated Crosshair, depending on his looks in Season 2 of the Bad Batch, just to give us, you know, a third, or, well, it would technically be a fourth one uh, of Crosshair, since him and Hunter had those Amazon exclusives last year, uh, but just to give us, you know, a first Crosshair, I guess you could say, uh, a distance from the Bad Batch, if that makes sense, so if there is a new look they can really give them here, I definitely think they just take advantage just to kind of keep it even with the rest of the bad batch so there's not a whole new set uh for hunter wrecker echo and tech but crosshair's kind of left out uh and if there is like i said a new look i think they should definitely take advantage so we have a new complete set of all five of them and omega as well another pop that i know is probably high on a lot of other people's lists and that's a brand new clone commander cody obviously we saw cody in the trailer as well which is freaking sick super hyped he's going to be making his star wars return in the bad batch and uh people are saying you know we kind of saw different variations of him here they weren't sure if what, what you guys are looking at is actual um orange and white armor even though i think it, it is I've been, some people are just saying it is uh just like the light on him because obviously we saw him later in the trailer and uh he was kind of just rocking in more white and gray uh but really i think those first uh time we saw cody in the trailer i think it was just his normal og armor so whatever they want to give us whether it's the later when we saw him in the trailer when he had his helmet off and the scar and all that stuff that would be different or if they just wanted to give us a new pose of clone commander cody because obviously we did have that original cody pop it blues like the walgreen 
Wolverine's uh, exclusive that came out um, for Revenge of the Sith, you know, all those years ago. Obviously not during Revenge of the Sith, but <laughs> based off of that movie. So obviously it would be the second Commander Cody Pop we ever got. I think there's two possible variations here they could give us without that, you know, OG armor with the, with the helmet off and stuff like that. Or they could just give us the OG armor, which I think would be more probably popular in my opinion, just because I think it looks cooler um, and just give, give us a new pose. So I think that'd be super sick. Clone Commander Cody back in the Bad Batch. Give us a new Funko Pop. Speaking of Order 66, we also saw the youngling Gungi making his return uh, to Star Wars here. Very, very cool. Uh, I think this popped a lot of people in the trailer. It certainly did for me because it, it was just awesome, man. It was just awesome to see it. And I think that's an easy Funko Pop you can make that's going to be very well received. Plus, green lightsaber, I mean, looks super cool. Gives, it gives you a reason to throw a lightsaber in the Funko Pop Bad Batch line, I think it would be sick. So I think a lot of people were hyped up on the Gungi appearance in the trailer, and they're going to be hyped up when he shows up in the show. Take advantage of the hype. Give us a Gungi Funko Pop. I, am I saying that wrong? Gungi. Whatever. Give us a Gungi Funko Pop. I think people, you know, will definitely be, you know, very excited about that. I can't get the, my words out. I know personally, I would be very excited about that. And at the very end of the trailer, we saw Captain Rex. And this is definitely a different look for Captain Rex that you can give us. Uh, obviously, wouldn't be probably the most exciting Captain Rex pop of all time. But still is a, is a way, excuse me, to get a new Captain Rex pop out there. He's had a few in the past. Obviously, there was the Fall Convention exclusive uh, New York Comic Con ones, which are Buko Bucks these days. And I believe there was one uh based off rebels as well so i believe there's three maybe four if i'm not mistaken uh captain rex funko pops but there's another one you can give us right here like i said it won't be probably as cool as those nyccc ones uh because obviously that's just captain rex in his prime in his og armor kind of looking a little like this hot toy right here which i have yet to open i'm gonna open this probably in the next video here on the channel so that's coming up uh real soon or before this video goes out the point is, whatever the order of the video goes out, it's not going to look like this, but it might still look cool. So if you have a reason to give us a Captain Rex, give us a Captain Rex. All right, and before I get out of here, guys, last week I made a video talking about the brand new Obi-Wan Kenobi Funko Pops. Obviously, Kenobi's going on right now. What an episode this week. But uh, Funko actually just dropped this, which is a new Haja uh, Estri, however you say his name, and uh, a new Reva, two new Kenobi Funko Pops adding on to the original ones we saw last week. Uh, the Haja is going to be exclusive to Target, and the Reva is going to be exclusive to Walmart. And I wanted to throw these in here because obviously I'm not going to make a full video just about two Funko Pops. But last week I was talking about how they didn't include Reva's lightsaber uh, in that original Funko Pop. And I was like, I guarantee they're doing that just so they have an excuse to make another Reva and make it an exclusive and what do you know walmart exclusive reva's on the way with her lightsaber i'm not complaining i just think it's funny and this one's obviously way cooler in my opinion if you're gonna get a reva get the walmart exclusive one uh because it's just way better than the original one all, all honestly the whole first set of the original obi-wan pops and if you don't know what the pops are hit the video um in the cards right there but the whole first set was a little boring to me there's way more they could do but i think funko knows that and they're just holding out and they're saving more stuff because there's already like 10 more Funko Pops they can give us from the first three episodes of Kenobi. So uh, we have these two on the way, uh, and hopefully we get way more with these Obi-Wan Wednesdays every single week up until the end of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. So yeah, go check out that rundown of the brand new Obi-Wan Kenobi Funko Pops, and I checked my notes. I'm actually going to upload the Captain Rex Hot Toy unboxing after this video goes out. So stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you hit subscribe. That way you guys do not miss out on the Captain Rex Hot Toy unboxing, which is going to be our next video right here on the No Nation youtube channel appreciate you guys checking out this video i'll see you guys next time peace this is rogue two this is rogue two commander skywalker do you copy this is rogue two